We're looking at the new Series 7 Gamer. Uh, we have a lot of PCs. I'm sure you've seen the Series 9, the Series 5 Ultra, but this is really cool. We haven't been to market yet with a gaming PC. So what we have down here to my right is the Series 7 Gamer. Take a look at it from the outside. Really nice, sleek, uh, glossy black with a backlit Samsung logo. That actually, when it turns off, the logo almost disappears into the lid. Very, very cool. On the inside, of a really nice ultra clear panel, so you're going to get really vibrant colors at 1920 by 1080. Uh, and you get a really cool feature here. And you're allowed to quickly configure the gaming laptop. So this is what's called balance mode. You're getting good battery life. You've got your backlit keyboard on. As you can see, it's in white. I'll dim the so you can see it. Get a nice backlit keyboard. But that's when you're using it for every day. Now, for gamers, we have a knob here that controls all the settings. And if you watch the screen, you're going to get a little bit of bionic sound effects and a really cool screensaver. Now, it's not just for visual scanning. You're also able, it's now turning on the turbo boost of the Core i7 processor. It's also turning off the touchpad so that when you're gaming, uh, you don't have to worry about bumping your palm into it. It's also killing the Windows key. So if you're in the heat of the battle, you're not going to accidentally pop up the Windows menu. And this, also, this, this is ready to go with the, the latest titles, right? Like Battlefield, Call of Duty, anything like that. Right? Absolutely. It's ready to go with all the latest titles. We're bringing it out with the top of the line Core i7 processor and a NVIDIA GTX uh, 670 with 2 gigabytes of memory dedicated to the memory card, uh, dedicated to the graphics. You can also see that the keyboard actually changed to a blue color, but your directional keys for gaming have lit themselves in red. And the graphics are just stunning on here. And this is a pretty bright display, it's 400 nit display. That's correct. It's just, it looks more like a high quality HDTV rather than a laptop uh, monitor. That's the point. That is absolutely the point. I mean, Samsung heritage, and what we're known for the best, is, uh, is our display. And, uh, and I'm uh, uh -oh. And we've seen that the frame rate's around 40, sometimes doing like 35 to 45, sometimes keeping up to 50. And generally, gamers want to see the frame rates at 30 or above. Right. Um, so that, that's sort of the bare minimum for real gaming. Let's go ahead and look at settings here. Sure. And if we go into settings, the options here, a lot of times when we see demos for gaming on notebooks, You'll see that the videos are like medium or low. Right. We have everything on ultra or high. Um, and that's pretty impressive. There's no trickery going on here. Um, you know, yes, you, you can run things a little bit higher if you're on a desktop, but I mean, this is, this is pretty darn good. And we want it to be ready to go right out of the box. That's why we're packing with absolutely everything possible that the gamer wants. And we see, we see the smoke effect. That's something you will not see on a standard notebook if you're able to go past the other You'll be able to get the flames going. And if you move around here, you can see it's pretty responsive, very natural movement. Um, and the audio, I can actually feel with bass. There is a down-firing okay. subwoofer, so it's a 2.1 system. You also have another little bit of eye candy. As you can see, the um, the speakers are actually having a little bit of ambient light that bounces with uh, the sound effects that are going on. So, how much is this rig going to cost? I mean, it looks pretty, but it looks pretty expensive. It's actually, we believe, it's impressive for what it's offering is $17.99. And so gaming notebooks not too long ago you would spend four or five thousand dollars to run run the little title. Easily. So less than two thousand bucks, desktop performance, really nice display. And uh, when will people be able to actually bring this home? That should be able to bring them home in the US in April. Very close.